just a little bit louder, please. Thank you. Can you repeat the question? Do we think the, the aid support that we're providing to other countries is sufficient, or should we provide more? Uh, I would love to give more. I think I'd love to give more of my paycheck to my wife, but I can't do that because I need something to buy at least gas. So, I mean, that's kind of the same kind of concept. We'd love to give more, but how much can you give, especially with the economy that we have currently today? And there's people here in our country that are having a hard time, and, you know, the housing bubble and every, all the different bubbles that have occurred. So we'd love to give more. They need more. Uh, but I just don't know how much more we can give. That kind of. Yes, sir, right here. Um, in the last, I think, BRAC, they, they did a lot of joint base operations. I had the privilege of going down to Langley, Eustis yep. down there. And uh, the commander uh, stated that there were like several bases that were going through this some in, I think, the state of Washington and up Alaska, and there was several others. Do you find that program being successful and, and, and go further to more joint base operation? In, in, in those cases, I think that they're, because they didn't close down Langley and they didn't close down Fort Eustis, and being having that jointness works out well. We did the same thing at Fort Bragg with Pope Air Force Base and Fort Bragg. Nothing closed down, moved in. But kind of going back to the question, and go with the whole efficiency thing. I agree with the gentleman there, bigger bureaucracy, more government, and that doesn't necessarily mean it's more efficient. They closed down Fort McPherson in, uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, moved all those personnel to Fort Bragg, North Carolina. But guess what they had to do at Fort Bragg? Build more infrastructure, build more, another headquarters, you know, build so, so much more. I don't know, in my opinion, I didn't, couldn't see, or don't even understand where the, the cost savings work. So you move more people somewhere, you know, to, to a smaller house, guess what? You got to build a bigger house, you got to build more infrastructure, you got to build more uh, local services support, so on and so forth. So the Fort Bragg loved it, Fayetteville loves it, uh, but I don't know what we gain as a, as a country as far as cost savings. All right, we'll be able to take one more question, and Mrs. Lee is going to have some comments, I believe. No? It's okay. Oh, Take George? more questions yeah. if you want to. I just would like a remark to thank everybody. Okay. Uh, and, and then the officers will be happy to stay after they have some additional questions as well. Okay. Yes, sir. I just had a remark to follow up with George. Maybe you haven't heard that the only, under this new BRAC thing, the only base to be com completely shut down is right here in Pittsburgh, in 9 11. And of course, that's being fought by the congressman around here, but I just want to follow up with George, what George said that. That entire base is uh, set to be closed down, as opposed to the, the depot you were talking about. So that, that's a big fight here in Pittsburgh in, right now. In my hometown, we just had a base closed down, Fort Monroe, which I thought, I mean, growing up, would never ever be closed. Uh, but it's it's closed. Those personnel moved to Fort Eustis as well. Uh, the city are looking, matter of fact, part of the base, they're, they're looking at it as more of a uh, national, uh, national, park. Yeah, national Park, the monument. So there's some kind of use there. They're also going to look at some other misuse, uh, mixed use uh, type of programs, so on and so forth. But yeah, there's going to be another round because of the deficit and budgets and everything else. But it is local. Politicians, you know, will, will determine which ones close and which ones stay open. Probably more important is for, at least for the, for the military, when we hear this one's closing and this one isn't. Sometimes you scratch your head and say, well, you know, that base in that state that we never used, that's already, you know, going down the tubes, it, it doesn't have the training areas, doesn't have the, 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 the ranges that we can even use, probably needs to be closed down, but then we find out there's one that's probably has more utility that's being closed. So that's probably the only part. But once the decision's made, it's made and then we drive on. But makes you scratch your head sometimes, like, man, who's making that decision? How did that, how did they come to that conclusion? But it's all politics. Yes, sir. One more. This, uh, question.